Hey what's up play, it's 30 again, and this time we're gonna continue our monthly series with Nintendo's 30 PlayScore games of 2018. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic reviews. When the game only reaches the minimum requirement of critic or gamer reviews, it receives a provisional PlayScore. And now we're getting the ball rolling with State of Mind. Get a sneak peek of the future in this cyberpunk adventure game that lets you choose between miserable reality and virtual utopia. On top of its inviting premise, it's also an artistically presented indie game with a deliberately polygonal visuals that skirts the borders of cartoon and realism. An atmospheric title though it is, it seems it left too many of its questions unanswered. It has a provisional play score of 6.65. All-Star Fruit Racing Following on the heels of Nintendo's iconic Mario Kart series, 3D Cloud's Kart Racer has got its own superstar cast of fruity personalities. Take on their vibrant 3D world and zoom past their deliciously decorated tracks. On the Switch, it even has a 4-player split screen that adds a perfect dose of competitive spirit. It's an alternative kart racer for kids and adults alike. It has a provisional play score of 6.68. Morphe's Law an intriguing shooter for the Nintendo Switch. The game's appeal anchors of its unique body mass stealing mechanic. Step inside their 4 vs 4 arena and watch your enemies grow, shrink, and disappear depending on their skill and luck. Adding a strategic element to the saturated shooting market, it's a refreshing addition and it receives a provisional play score of 6.82. Unexplored Unlocked Edition the definitive edition of Ludemotion's Roguelite Edition. Descend into the depths of their fearsome dungeons along with all three of Unexplored's DLC packs. From Mithril Run, The Dark Ritual, and everything in between, it's a puzzle-packed roguelite adventure with a provisional play score of 7.1. Megaton Rainfall Wield unimaginable superpowers in this action game from Pentadimensional Games. Set in a procedural Earth, Use your newfound powers to aid the world against an alien threat. But with power comes great responsibility. So weigh out the consequences of your destruction and avoid as much human casualties as possible. It has a provisional play score of 7.2. Bad North Real-time strategies are a brutal bunch, but Bad North seems to master the balancing act of tactical depth and friendly navigation. Set camp on their island kingdoms as you take command of Viking man and fleet against your many invaders. An inviting treat for first-time RTSers. It has a provisional play score of 7.22. The Video Kid. Wanna be as cool as a skater kid in the 80s? Then this game is just for you. Travel back to the voxel suburban streets of the groovy retro era in this arcade-style skating game. Take a pick from their roster of classic 80s character tropes and skate till you drop in the nostalgia-ridden highways. It has a provisional play score of 7.25. Picross S2 Picross has been the loyal puzzle dealer for 3DS fans, and now they're serving it up on Nintendo Switch 2. A sequel to the Crossworld Puzzler, there's more than 300 new problems, hundreds of new questions, and an all-new clip Picross mode. It has a provisional play score of 7.45. Little Dragon's Cafe Taking what he's learned from Harvest Moon, Yasuhiro Wada brings his specialty for the quaint and adorable in this new IP. From farm animals and virtual earths, we come to family restaurant management. Pick between two twin siblings and learn the ropes of running the restaurant and taking care of their tiny dragon. Mixing simulation with rhythm-like mechanics, it has a provisional play score of 7.48. Cycle 28, a momentum-based shooter. Cycle 28 challenges you to find your rhythm in the darkness of outer space. Crafted in the classic arcade style, the 2D shooter is hypnotic, albeit a little frustrating, keeping you coming back from more though. It has a provisional play score of 7.54. Manual Samuel After striking a deal with a skater boy named Death, following a disastrous truck accident, the eponymous brat must accomplish his everyday tasks manually for the next 24 hours. Control blinking, breathing, standing, and watch him struggle through the simplest functions. It's weird, challenging, and even tedious, but it's worth the laughs and it has a provisional play score of 7.58. Not a Hero Super Snazzy Edition 
bust crime in extraordinary ways in this next level shooter from the creators of the popular Oli Oli. Roll up the red carpet for their lineup of 9 anti-heroes and use their individual abilities to rid the city of criminal scum. Set in the dynamic 2 and a quarter dimension, roll dive and shoot around the pixel environments and put your guns to good use. It has a provisional play score of 7.7. .7. Freedom Planet, a furry paradise in, yes, with more retro visuals. Step inside the shoes of their feline stars and guide them across the celestial world of Avalis, coming alive with cartoon, combat-based platforming. It has a provisional play score of 7.8. The Walking Dead Final Season Episode 1, Done Running. A popular TV series and now with Telltale's help, a compelling choice-driven adventure series. Reaching its end on the fourth and final season, the zombie infestation or its survivors is finally reaching the inevitable end. In this first episode, we get to watch AJ and Clementine come to maturity as they deal with growing pains amidst the undead intrusion. It has a provisional play score of 7.82. Blade Strangers This crossover fighting game from Nicalis brings around all your favorites from the Sizens and Games. Meet the characters of Code of Princess, Cave Story Plus, and more, and also watch them unite in one arena. It has a provisional play score of 7.82. Salt and Sanctuary With the arrival of Dark Souls comes its close indie equivalent. Like the From Software original, SCA Studios' cleverly crafted 2D ARPG also separates the noobs from the pros with its brutal Metroidvania action. Survive the doom and gloom of its world through crafting, spells, and sheer determination. It has a provisional play score of 7.83. Cosmic Star Heroine, an indie RPG game from Zeboid Games. Explore three exotic alien planets filled with robots, aliens, and magic. Discover the long lost secrets, conspiracies, and an impending galactic threat in a fun 2D visual style experience. Take up your destiny and become the star heroine the galaxy needs. It has a provisional play score of 7.87. Castle Storm. Like the love child of Angry Birds and Tower Defense, use the power of medieval artillery to blow your enemies to the ground in this hybrid indie title. Mixing strategy, resource collecting, and comedy gold. It has a provisional play score of 7.87. Minute. Savor every second of every minute long lifetime in this unassuming adventure game from indie loving publisher Devolver Digital. Wrapped in a pixel like graphics and filled with that retro RPG vibe, step outside the comforts of home and venture out to lift your curse. Enjoy every minute as you uncover secrets and fight baddies. It has a provisional play score of 7.89. Overcooked 2. Overcooked was the cream of the party game crop. And with this juicy sequel, they've taken extreme cooking to the next level. Packed with the wholesale of new worlds and levels to accomplish, gather your most trusted chefs and guide each other through thick and thins of the ever-moving kitchen. An achievement in couch party gaming and a perfect fit for the Switch users. It has a provisional play score of 7.99. Flipping Death For fans of Zoink's hard hat testing misadventures in Stick It To The Man, their newest puzzle platformer serves you up with their brand of quirky humor. With Death on Vacation, step on the roll of the Reaper of Souls and flip through dimensions to settle the living's unfinished business. Dive into puzzles wrapped in Zoink's signature hilarity. It has a provisional play score of 8.02. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Panic-driven bomb defusal has never been this fun. This stimulating party game offers a different kind of adrenaline as you come face to face with the logic puzzles of a ticking time bomb. Work together with your team of supposed experts and test out your comprehension skills as they guide you through the knob, wire, and symbol. It's an addictively frantic party game with a provisional play score of 8.18. Flat Heroes For parallel circles in the action game, victory is minimalism. Grab your chance to become the hero they deserve as you conquer each of their 300 handcrafted levels. As flat as it looks, the same cannot be said for this creative title. It has a provisional play score of 8.18. WarioWare Gold, the only 3DS game for this month, and it's coming to us straight from the Intelligent Systems office. The latest in their line of Wario-centric action games, 
Join him and his Mushroom Kingdom buddies as you go on minigame after minigame from the golden vaults of Nintendo. Catch pieces, pluck some nose hairs, blow dandelion flowers, and so much more. It's a fun-filled arcade game with a play score of 8.20. Victor Vran Overkill Edition Voiced by none other than Geralt of Rivia himself, Victor Vran goes on a demon-killing spree among the infested lands of Zaragovia. Hmm, sounds familiar. Become rock and roll personified and free the world from the damning curse. It has a provisional play score of 8.25. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate While Capcom has expanded the horizons of their Monster Hunter series, they haven't forgotten their roots. Opening the hunting season on the Nintendo Switch, they've pulled out the big guns for this hybrid console, boasting the biggest beastery of all MH titles yet. Encounter series favorites, discover new monster types, and tame all of them with an arsenal of 14 different weapons. It has a play score of 8.32. The Messenger Retro is big on the Switch, and this just might be one of the best. In a tale of Ninja Gaiden meets Back to the Future, play as the skilled ninja and slice and dice through enemies all around time itself. It's a tongue-in-cheek platformer that aces the retro vibe. It has a provisional play score of 8.43. Iconoclasts, another Metroidvania game for the Switch vaults. Joaquin Sandberg unleashes his seven-year passion project, dazzling us with its gorgeous pixel-fueled art. Play as the Robin the Mechanic and Wrench in Hand go on a platforming adventure to fix the world, one bolt at a time. It's an emotional tale of a woman against the world jam-packed with intricately designed puzzles. It has a provisional play score of 8.46. Dead Cells A loving tribute to the classic Castlevania, Dead Cells took the gaming world by storm, becoming one of the latest trends in the streaming world, like our gameplay right here. Mixing traditional platforming gameplay with roguelike mechanics, explore their ever-changing castles with your special powers, and discover new surprises with every death. It has a play score of 8.51. Okami HD, finishing its rounds in the modern consoles, this beautiful PlayStation 2 gem has made it to Switch shores. Playing on a traditional art style of Japan, Okami challenges you to rebuild the land of the rising sun using nothing but a magical paintbrush. Bring the darkness out of Nippon and defeat Orochi once and for all. Freshen up with an HD makeover, it's equally majestic on the Switch making it this month's highest rated Nintendo game with a provisional play score of 8.61. And that was our latest update of Nintendo's best games this August 2018. If you want to talk more about Nintendo games, how about you go to the comment section below and we'll talk about it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to become a certified what to player. But wait, there's more. If you want to see more of me, Claire, Ernest, Rain, Juanita, and everybody else, you can check our other YouTube channel, What to Play Gameplays, and you can hang out there with our fresh live streams and gameplays. So that's it, guys. Thank you and goodbye.